Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You can all take a big, deep breath. <laughs> You're here. Okay, you need it. All right. You need it. You know, you're here, and you're here because people, whether it's your parents, probably your leaders, staff, teachers, someone saw something in you. Potential to grow, the potential to develop, the potential to influence, uh, and recommended you to be here. So, you know, like all the guests or the, the, the delegate speakers beforehand, you know? It's an opportunity, but like all opportunities, what you do with it, it really makes the difference. Um, you know, everybody has said, you know, embrace the challenge, whether you're comfortable. And absolutely, you know, that's what this week is about. It's an opportunity. Very rarely will you be in a room with so many like-minded people uh, and so many people that uh, are there uh, willing to support and encourage you. Uh, and it's, it really is a very powerful environment in which to, to, to learn about yourself and to develop the skills of leadership that, that you know, this, this week is about. Uh, before I go on, can I just say that uh, I'm a, I'm a stand-in speaker this morning. Uh, I want to introduce and uh, most of you probably know Dave, but uh, Dave O'Reilly is the National Chair of the Program. Dave O'Reilly should be up here doing the official opening, but because he's just jet lagged from back from Australia, we decided we'd, uh, we, 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 we let him off for this afternoon. Uh, but that's, this is the last. <laughs> uh, there's, a, there's a quote from Churchill that, 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 that I really like that says, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It's the courage that continues that counts. And it's a quote that talks about, I suppose, that tries to describe what resilience and per perseverance is about. And that's a huge part of, of leadership. That ability to believe, uh, you know, not to rest, you know, to believe in yourself, to not to rest on laurels, to challenge yourself and continue to challenge yourself. And there will, in every, everybody's life, there will be ups and downs. And it's, you know, the ability to, to see the learning in any situation is what distinguishes people uh, you know, that, that are real leaders from those who, who, who just try. Aldi Kuroga Youth Citizenship Awards, which raised awareness and the importance of good physical and mental health. And lastly, recently, I got to go to the European Parliament in Strasbourg for the European Youth Event. None of these things would have happened if I hadn't put myself forward. It's such a simple gesture, but it can actually change your life. I urge every single one of you here today, simply put yourselves forward and to be open to the wonderful adventure it will definitely take you on. It is difficult to try and explain to you all how amazing this week is going to be for you. It's fun-filled, you'll have fantastic memories and friendships will be made. But most of all, it can be life-changing. So this is the apartment. It's quite plain. Got some hangers. Got every desk and a corkboard. My window. Some lovely berries. My bed and my coat and my mirror. And now I'm going to go to Aldi. So bye.
now the second day of laundry. I am dressed. I am ready to go. I'm wearing my blue boy shirt. My anchor shirt. And um, I'm so excited for today. I really am. I just can't wait. <laughs> It was uh, original music uh, composed for me in a Shadows dancer for a show, but the significance of it was a bit different. About four years ago, uh, I was born basically with a split my nerve at the bottom of my spine, so it's down there, here, I can feel it. So basically what happened was I had a rupture in my spine, and uh, I woke up one morning and I had just no power in my legs, couldn't feel my legs, gone, screaming into dad, Joe, Joe, come get me, I'm crying, you know, come be my saving grace. So, um, after maybe three weeks, I, after electrotherapy, which was intensive and not nice, uh, I was able to feel my legs again. Within two months, I was walking fully, running around the place, and within three months, I was back at dancing, and then on the end of the fourth month, we had this show and it was my first time back dancing uh, since that happened. So um, I got a little surprise as Carl said, it was hideaway here in the jumper in the corner. So obviously Carl lost the bet. So. <laughs> So uh, this belt, if you're wondering, it's not for boxing or wrestling or anything like that. Uh, after all of that, I came back and since I was three, my goal was to win the world championships. And this is the world championship belt. <laughs> The reason I was saying this was because this is my last year here. So, uh, the message is just setback, don't let setbacks crush your dreams because one day they'll come true. And, and I would like to congratulate Cahill on becoming. Irish Dance World Championship for the next two minutes. Yeah. Good night, Paul. Oh my god. 
right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay.
So many things in that I can help you. 